Well, the wind had a different kind of effect on a uh, local business today. News 13's Aaron Adelson has been outside all day, and besides people bundling up, what else did you find out there? Well, Frank, it's not what we saw, it's what we heard as we were driving up to this place in downtown Asheville. It was the sound of wind bringing in business. Outdoor decorations feed off the wind. Set up outside at the loft in downtown Asheville, you can hear the wind chimes from half a block away. Eastland Freya Pax Thompson loves listening to them. They kind of remind me like if a fairy was talking or something. It reminds me of the sound like Tinkerbell always makes in those movies. With every kind of wind chime under the stars, they form an urban orchestra with woodwinds, percussion, and brass. As far as sales go, Brenda Dessert says they're sweet and sour. It's harder to make everything like stay looking nice, but it definitely is like, oh, I hear wind chimes. Like, let's go check that out. At Grovewood Gallery, it's a perfect day to show off a wind forest. They saw those and they were like, boy, we think those would be cool to sell at the gallery. Harvey Patton says his father discovered the sculptures driving through Utah. This is true. Windy days help mesmerize the customers. I like the, the movement, the patterns. Uh, they're hypnotic, um, they're just very, very peaceful and nice to look at. Winding through all these might make you winded, but not a bad day in Asheville to enjoy the weather. <laughs> Even on wind pockets. And here outside the loft downtown at one point they had to take some of these glass bottles inside for fear they would break because of this wind. Live in downtown Asheville, Aaron Adelson, News 13.